10 ways you are hurting your dog without realizing it. Dogs are man's best friend, and any good dog owner will do their best to take care of their canine buddy. Dogs are curious, energetic, and playful animals, and are hard to take care of. But sometimes, we might do things that hurt them. Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more dog-related content. While we love our dogs and would do anything to keep them safe and happy, we might be doing things that do the exact opposite. Here are 10 ways you could be hurting your dog without realizing it. Number 1. Not enough exercise. Dogs are active animals. Like humans, they need lots of exercise to stay healthy. It's easy for owners to forget especially when they're busy. It can be difficult to find time to exercise, but not doing anything will put the dog in danger. According to Vet Street, around 20 to 40 percent of dogs in the United States are obese. This will make them slow, tire easily, and could lead to more serious health problems. A dog's behavior might also be impaired if they don't get enough exercise. Vet Street describes that dogs are, by nature, active animals. Dogs that don't exercise become more antisocial and bored. These creative behavior problems, such as aggressive behavior, hyperactivity, and a lot of barking. Always remember to take your dog out for a walk or bring them to a park to play fetch. If you don't have time to go out, remember to at least play with them inside the house. Number 2. Bad Hygiene Dogs need to be clean to stay healthy. Sometimes, we owners might forget to give our dogs a bath and brush their teeth. It's easy to forget and could lead to a lot of hygienic concerns. First and foremost, the dog would smell horrible without taking a bath. It'll also lead to skin irritation and increase the likelihood of your dog having fleas on its fur. This would make it itchy and easy to get a skin infection. But don't give your dog a bath every day. Bathe your dog too much and this will remove the natural oils on its body and leave it exposed. Without its natural layer of oil, dog's skin will stay dry and become irritating for them. Give your dog a bath once a month to make sure they're clean. Number 3. Eating Human Food Dogs don't process food like humans. For example, Dogs aren't able to process fat as quickly as us since it's not naturally part of their diet. This could make them obese. We could be spoiling our dogs by giving them human food or let them have scraps of the dinner table. While we never intend it, we could be unintentionally harming their diet. It's important to research what type and how much food a day a dog can eat. Plan a dietary routine for your canine buddy so that they can stay fit and healthy. Number 4. Unhealthy Dog Food Similar to our previous problem, we might not pay attention to the food we give our dogs. We might just buy the cheapest dog food in the supermarket, but these might not have the important vitamins for them. This doesn't mean that all dog food is bad and we should only feed them organic food. It's important to always know what's inside the food that we're buying so that we can track our dog's diet. Always do research and make sure you know what's inside the dog food you're buying. Be aware of the chemicals and artificial ingredients they use as some of them could be harmful. Number 5. Wrong Equipment Each dog is special and each one would have a collar that fits just right. Sometimes. We just buy whatever color we think might look good or use an old one. But there are many types of colors and it's important to do your research. There are many types of colors out there, each for their own special purpose. Some colors are designed to correct a dog's behavior, such as choke collars. Sometimes, a dog might not even like to wear a collar and it would be better to use a harness instead. Always remember to give your dog the right size of collar, too tight, and it'll find its morning walk uncomfortable. According to Dr. Marty Becker, 
you should be able to put one finger in between the dog's neck and collar if it's a small dog. For bigger dogs, you should be able to fit two fingers between the neck and the collar. Too tight of collar could lead to skin irritation and could make it harder for breathing. Number 6. Not training your dog. Training your dog can be difficult, especially if you don't know how. Some people might not even find it necessary, but training your dog is essential for its behavioral growth. Dogs that aren't trained could be more aggressive to its owner, other people, or other dogs. They also lack essential socialization skills which could lead them to being antisocial. Remember to train your dog's basic manners and commands so that they don't develop any negative habits. Number 7. Not making the rules clear. Related to training, it's important to be consistent with the messages and rules that you are enforcing in your house. Consistency is the key. If you prohibit your dog from sleeping on the bed, make sure that you keep that rule. Allowing it to sleep on the bed when you've been stopping it before will make a dog confused. It will be unsure which orders to follow and would lead to behavioral problems. It won't be able to consistently follow rules and might stop following them altogether. A lot of times, this problem occurs when the owners are too lenient to their pets. Number 8. Punishing your dog. While it's important to discipline your dogs, it's essential that you strike a balance between discipline and being caring. Sometimes, dog owners that are starting to train their dogs can be too overbearing and might start shouting and punishing their precious friend. While some might see this as a form of training, this could lead to serious behavioral problems in the future. Shouting at your dog too often will make it fearful of you and could develop behavioral disorders. It could become more untrusting of people and will be more difficult to train. Severely punishing your dog will lead to it becoming less social and trusting of other people and other dogs. Pets World, for example, says that dogs that are shouted at for barking might just bite without warning. Number 9. Abandoning Your Dog Everyone has to leave for work or school, but make sure that your dog is company or at the very least don't leave it alone for too long. A dog will make its owner its whole world and being separated for too long can be distressing. Dogs that feel abandoned will develop separation anxiety and will not be able to function properly by themselves. Without essential socialization, they can become more aggressive and antisocial. No Number 10. Not bringing your dog to the vet. We can't know everything about our dog's health. In that case, it's important that we remember to bring our dogs to the vet regularly for checkup. While it can be difficult to schedule an appointment in our busy schedules, bringing your dog to the vet is the very best way to make sure it's healthy. Once again, thank you for watching us at Smart Dog Lover, your number one research channel for everything dog related. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos.